Hi, welcome to Tech Open Air. I'm here with Andy to talk to him a bit about what he was speaking about at Tech Open Air. Hey, Andy. Hi, how are you? So I missed your talk, unfortunately, but can you explain to me and to people watching this video what you came here to talk about? Yeah, so we sort of shared what we're doing in the world of sort of human potential, and that is really simple. We have an extraordinary group of talented people that we get to work with and support in the program, and it has one basic goal, is to help them sort of get to the dreams or the goals or aspirations that they've sort of set for themselves. It started mostly with athletes and that part of the portfolio, but more recently branched out into the musicians, the artists, and social entrepreneurs more recently, and even up to gamers, e-athletes. So it's kind of basically a program designed to help anyone improve uh, what, they're good, what they're trying to improve at so they can be more successful at it. And can you explain a little to me what you mean by like what is the program entail? Like what is the format of the? Yeah, so it's really simple. So we have an extraordinary group of experts in various fields around sort of traditional notions of performance and potential and nutrition and coaching and training and physicality and, and then a group of experts in the spiritual, creative and sort of life skills world. So an individual will come in and say, hey, next year I want to win a medal at the Olympics or I want to uh, have this extraordinary performance or I want to make this great film part or I want to just get better at this particular aspect of what I do. So we sit down and we go, all right, what's going to take to get there and who in our network can we bring in to help you move up the up the ladder a little bit so it's really organic and very much customized to depending on what you're trying to achieve so what's your background like how did you get involved in doing this and how long have you been doing it I, at the fundamental level for about 20 years i've been engaged I, I trained as a human movement coach sort of as a sports coach in australia under the australian system i was heavily involved in the sporting programs down there and the olympic movements and professional sports Got drawn into the US via the Olympic movement, but in the winter side, so started working in the, as a human performance director in the Winter Olympic program uh, for ski and snowboard. And then about 2007, Red Bull uh, sort of approached me and said, look, we have a great group of talented people, uh, a lot of sports people, but all these others as well. Can you build a program based on the performance factors that you've sort of trained in the sports world for these other group? And then that started from there. So. Yeah. So I know it's going to be really hard to specify, but for you, maybe personally or in a broader sense, what do you think are some of the most important factors around improving? I mean, this is going to, this is me just cheating, so it's not <laughs> you want the You want the end question Basically, first, I don't yeah. want to pay, I just yeah, want to yeah, 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 yeah. But um, what, what do you, like, what things have made a personal change to your life? What are the things well, I, I think what, what for me personally, what I've learned from all these extraordinary people, which is probably the best part about what we do, is we, we listen and learn all the time. I think fundamentally, getting right down to the bare bones, it's about a passion for what you're doing. Because, you know, to get good at it, it, it obviously looks great once you've reached that point, especially if you're uh, sort of best in class. Mm -hmm. But the process of getting there can be really tough. And it seems to me that those that are passionate about what they do kind of get through the tough times to realise the good times. So if you're not focused and dedicated, you, you know, when, the, when it doesn't work out for you, which inevitably will happen, you sort of maybe turn and go another direction, but it's the ones who stick with it that seem to get the most success. And I guess that things like passion are things that you can't really enforce. You can't enforce someone to be passionate about something. So has there ever been instances when you've kind of been, uh, people have realized that they're not doing the right thing or that they should be doing something else? Or, cause I think that's, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's yeah. a negative positive in a way. So sometimes people just put passion in, and their, their lives in the wrong areas. Yeah, I think that the passion may be something that they that they do for the love of it, and, they, and they're engaged, and and at a certain point they they may want to sort of make a career out of that passion, and that's a different conversation because then you're sort of competing against other people in that space, and passion's obviously the drive to get you there, but at a certain point you've got to have a level of talent or a level of expertise to help you succeed yeah. in that environment. And it's, a, it's more of a society decision as to whether they, you get reinforced with money or reward for that or it's a passion play for your career. A lot of the early action sports athletes, fascinating group because there was no career ahead of them. There was no X Games, there was no uh, world titles, there was no money, financial reward in those sports. So they were passionate just for the sake of, the, of doing the, what they loved. And then in many cases, as it turns out, doing what you love ends up giving you the rewards you've, you've inadvertently want, so. That's cool. 
Yeah, it's really cool. Um, so, are you regular to Berlin? I know you're based West Coast. <laughs> you both are. Have you been? Have you spent a lot of time here? Is this your first time at Tech Open Air? It's my first time at Tech Open Air. I think I was in Berlin once in a very, very short layover when I was on other business. So this is my first time actually in the city. And uh, you enjoying we, it? Yeah, I loved it. And first the, thoughts? What do you think? First thoughts. What well, was great because you have this image of the town, and it wasn't what I expected. And and this creativity and this energy and passion around this sort of entrepreneurialism in the spirit of it, I had no idea and I was completely blown away. And then we were in the hotel on the other side of town and there's these bikes for free. They let us yeah. jump and we rode to the conference with me and the other presenters, a couple of us. Uh. And we got to wander around town and saw the aftermath of the celebrations for the World Cup. So <laughs> it must have been a hell of a party. I'm really bummed I missed it. Yeah. But uh, it's just beautiful. It's a gorgeous city and, and, and the spirit again of the people here in this conference is amazing. Really, really exceptional. Well, it's been great having you. Well, thank you very much. It's Thanks. a pleasure being here. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>